Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. A special thanks to a longtime supporter of the channel, Doug, for bringing this to my attention, as well as a lot of people on Reddit. And that is that for some reason, when Samsung rolled out One UI 6, which I have here on my S23 Ultra, they did not include pixel shifting. So what pixel shifting is, is throughout the course of the day when you're using your phone, behind the scenes, without you seeing it and without you noticing it, it is constantly moving around pixels very slowly on your screen. All of your screen elements move just a little bit, not noticeable to the eye, and that's to help prevent screen burn-in, which is really important for devices that have OLED-based panels. You know, Super AMOLED, the Dynamic AMOLED 2X, all of the Samsung offerings. So it's really important to have that pixel shifting technology. Well, for some reason they omitted it. Hopefully it comes out soon. So I was just thinking of a way, what can we do in the meantime to help prevent burn-in on our devices? I've come up with a little workaround. I know it's kind of cheesy. You're gonna see that, but uh, I think this will get us through this little hard time we're going through until we get this much needed update. Let's open up our settings and then scroll down until you get to home screen. Let's go ahead and enter there. And then you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see rotate to landscape mode. Let's go ahead and toggle that on and we'll go ahead and minimize this here. So as you can see, normally when you use your phone, no matter what you do, it's going to stay locked. This will stay down there. But now with this enabled, it's going to move our status bar and everything up to this side now. So now all of our screen elements change on us except our navigation buttons. But as you see during the motion here, or I should say the animation, they still kind of shift and move around. And that's what we're looking for, is we need for our pixels to be able to move just a little bit. That's all you need is a little bit of movement to help prevent that burn-in. And the biggest problem folks are having right now is with their status bar and with constant UI elements when they're using applications constantly throughout the day are causing some burn-in with One UI 6. So this is just a quick workaround. I would do this like every 20 to 30 minutes. You don't have to stay like this long, just a few seconds really, you know, maybe up to a minute or so. You know, the thing with OLED panels is this is organic material. So anything that we can do to prevent the pixels from constantly being burned in one spot like that is gonna help the panel out a lot. I expect a fix to come out really soon for this. It can't be more than a month or two. One UI 6.1 at the latest, which we'll see with the S24 line but uh, I bet it'll come out sooner than that. There's a lot of other little things you can do too, like minimize your screen timeout. You can change your DPI and advanced developer settings. But I think for the average user, this is gonna be the quickest way for you to prevent screen burn-in in the meantime until we get to the fix. For regular supporters of the channel, I just wanna let you know that I do have back-to-back -back eye surgeries coming up, one this Wednesday and then one like a week after. So content's gonna be a little slow the next two to three weeks. But we should be back at it with regular stuff, you know, kicking off the new year, right? Coming in January. So I hope you all have a great holiday season in case I don't put out too many videos for the rest of the year. Just wanted to throw this out there and thanks again, Doug, for shooting me that email. Hope you're all having a great day. And as always, thanks for watching.